Hey everyone, this is Jack coming to you live from Indianapolis, Indiana. Well, it's probably not live right now. It's probably being edited some other day. It's Friday the 21st of February right now. Um, and I just got finished looking at a number of properties in Indianapolis. Looking for a duplex for my first out-of-state investment deal. And I have to say, it's pretty tough trying to invest in a hot market. Um, the reason, for those of you who may know, I live in Chicago right now, so I'm not from Indianapolis, but I drove three and a half hours today to come out here and take a look at those five properties um, to try and see if there was a deal to be made. And uh, I have to say that it's been pretty tough because it's a very hot market. Indiana is what I like to call a cash flow market compared to Chicago, which is more of an equity market where you might not be able to cash flow as much, but say if you're in the business of flipping or you want to see some better appreciation numbers that might be a good market for you because for example in Indianapolis you might have uh, let's say a hundred thousand dollar property if it appreciates ten percent you're only looking at about ten percent appreciation gain whereas in Chicago you take the same ten percent appreciation on a five hundred thousand dollar property and all of a sudden you have a fifty thousand dollar gain but at the same time, Indianapolis has a lot cheaper properties with rents that are um, relatively higher than Chicago rents. Not that it's more expensive to live in Indiana, but just that your dollar invested in an Indiana property can get you more rent in return generally. Um, obviously, there's a lot of different factors that go into everything and every neighborhood's different. Right now, I am in St. Clair Place in Indianapolis, which has seen a lot of revitalization over uh, over the recent months and, and years, in that a lot of investors are coming in both in-state and out-of-state to try and revitalize the area, doing a lot of different rehab. And uh, generally this neighborhood has seen a lot of new development, or redevelopment at least, like all these colorful homes you're seeing, uh, most of them have had a lot of rehab done to them just in the last year or two. And what I'm trying to do is get in the path of progress by these neighborhoods that have seen a lot of this revitalization. That's tough to do because a lot of investors have the same exact idea and there isn't a ton of inventory in Indianapolis right now. But that is one of the challenges with investing out of state in that I'm slower than a lot of these other investors because they're either more familiar with it, uh, with the market, or they've actually done deals here before. I'm just not comfortable yet and I feel like I need to see the property first before I actually buy one. Uh, it's just something I'm going to be doing as a newer investor and more importantly as someone newer to Indianapolis. I'm just not comfortable enough yet to put offers on properties sight unseen. And that's going to be a disadvantage I'm going to have to live with for a while until I decide that I uh, know what I'm doing enough to actually do otherwise. In fact, the market is so hot right now that I actually sent five different properties to my broker on Tuesday that I wanted to see. Um, and within a day of me sending those five properties, four of them were already under contract with other buyers. It is very hard to find stuff right now um, to the point where the market's getting so hot that in order for me to plan a trip out, in, in, out to Indianapolis, I have to send the properties that I want to see probably the day before rather than the nice week in advance or even two weeks in advance because this inventory is just flying off the shelves right now that it is very much a seller's market but there are still profits to be made they just take a while to find so trying hard and keep searching but it can be frustrating at times but the alternative is to do no deal in chicago because it's either too expensive or just doesn't make sense from a cash flow perspective because in chicago I would be lucky to find a $500,000 duplex that brings in at least $4,000 a month in rent, which for all intents and purposes is a very bad deal for cash flow purposes, um, if it would even cash flow at all. Whereas in Indianapolis, a bad deal might look something more like a $120,000 duplex that brings in $1,000 a month in rent. That's a lot more palatable from a uh, cash flow perspective. but. Still not an amazing deal. You want, you want to try to hit that golden rule of 1% of property value per month in rent, but that can be pretty tough to do. But I'm going to keep looking, and I'm going to always be posting updates on this search as I go along.
I almost forgot to sign off. I have about three and a half hours left to drive back to Chicago. Until next time, take care.